What's up guys and welcome back to my channel for Toll in Motion, a place for busy people and dream chasers look to achieve their goals in a more efficient way. So if you're new here, hello, welcome, my name is Ira and I do project management, self-improvement and the occasional lifestyle video. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if that sounds interesting to you and to my lovely subscribers coming back. Hello community. Good to have you and let's get straight into this video. So guys, usually in my videos I come with that positivity, letting you know, you know, how enthusiastic about project management I am and you guys should be too and all of that, but we ain't doing that today. This week in particular, I just feel like life has been very, very, very annoying. There's just been things going wrong with my project and just even in my personal life as well. So I just haven't been in the best mood when certain things happen at work or on my project and i'm just like this is very annoying it just reminds me that actually there are a lot of annoying things about project management so that is what i'm going to be talking about in this video i'm sorry guys i'm not coming with that positive tip don't get me wrong i still love project management but like i said before not all that glitters is gold so i'm definitely going to get into in no particular order my 10 biggest pet peeves with project management. Let's get it popping. Number one on the hit list of my biggest pet peeves, and probably near the top of the list, is when I ask, is something done? And they tell me, almost done. So you mean no, it's not done. This is a big thing guys, like the definition of done is usually set at the beginning of the project. Everyone knows for something to be done, this is what it means. So when you're, when I'm asking a question like, is it done? And you're telling me, maybe, kind of, somewhat. Is it like, yes or no? It gets on my nerves every single time. Just say no, it's not done. And then I'll follow up with, okay, cool. So when is it gonna be done? Mm, almost done. Number two is when members of my project team ask me for information which I have already put into a deck for everybody and given access to like you know where this information is but as a project manager because you're the you know key point of contact or the, just the point of contact on the project everyone just feels the need to ask you these little little bits of information which I'm not lying we go through every single week in the deck it's in the deck you know where the deck is go look in the deck how about that Number three is when someone in your team comes to you to tell you that something has been fixed. It's one thing that's been fixed. They found the solution and you're all happy. But then they come and say, but that fix broke two other things. Well, then it wasn't the right fix, was it then, love? It's a game of whack-a-mole with a lot of things, especially in like hardware development, software development. But like, if your solution for one problem creates two more problems, then listen, my problems are many. I know you're just adding to them. I've had enough. Number four is when I make schedules that are urgent. I, I've been told they're urgent schedules. We need to have a view of what this may look like. I hate the word may, guys. Why do I hate the word may? Because that schedule that may happen will not even get looked at. And chances are 90% of the time is that you're gonna make that schedule. No one's gonna look at it and it was never even an option on the table. I can already tell you this guys, as a PM, you're going to make a lot of plans, a lot of schedules that will not even see the time of day because you need to provide options. And I hear it, but it's a lot of work. And it was urgent and needed to be done by 12. But at 12.30, you're telling me, sorry, change of direction. It's the nature of the work. At the end of the day, there's a lot of change, but Still very annoying. Number five, oh my days, and this one is outrageous. This one is when the project team try to act like they're not paid to do the work that they're doing. I, I don't get it. There was one time I remember back in the old role that I used to be in, I had a network engineer and we were meant to do some work. He was literally ring fenced to the project. Like it was just me and him delivering this thing. And I said, okay, we need to do this first as a priority. No problem. He said, oh, okay, so what are you going to give me to do this? Excuse me? How about I don't snitch on you? That's the best I can do. Outrageous behavior. Like, I'm not negotiating 
with you. I'm not your manager, I'm the project's manager. As for you and your words, listen, that escalation, crazy. It just be coming up, see, 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 see. I ain't playing no games. Don't mess around with me, cause ugh, I'm gonna snitch. Number six, when you check in at the beginning of the day, if this task is gonna be complete, they say yes, then 15 minutes to when the task needs to be complete, they say, oh, I'm so sorry, it's not gonna be complete. Mate, at what point in the day did you know that this wasn't going to be complete? Because I'm telling you, it wasn't 15 minutes before the deadline. <sighs> now I have no opportunity to try and see, all right, cool, what can we move in order to prioritise or move things around so there's no impact? Now you're just stressing me out. Unnecessary. Number seven is last minute feedback. And guys, beware of this because there are people in the organisation that don't want to see you win. And these people are the people that do this. Sometimes you might send out a report or a test sheet or some kind of proposal for people to review. And you give a deadline, you say, yo, this needs to be reviewed by 12 o'clock because at 12 o'clock we go live or we baseline or we do something, there are no changes at 12. And you've given them a week, a whole week to look over and make sure they're happy with it. No feedback, first two days, no problem. Send a little reminder, by the way, deadline coming up, ah, right, calm, nothing back, cool. Literally the day before, even the day before, another reminder because you <laughs> are a good PM. Right, send that reminder, nothing. 30 minutes before, you know, the deadline, once again, oh, all this feedback's coming in. All this feedback, actually, I don't really agree with this point. Actually, perhaps we should add in this. Excuse me. Eh? <laughs> no, could have said this two days ago. It's very annoying. Guys, there are people that don't want to see you in and, and that that person that sent you that, that feedback 30 minutes before the deadline, that's that person. Beware of that person. Number eight is a sad one, guys. And this is when you've been working on your project for six months plus, might even be a year, might even be two years. And then all of a sudden it gets canned. Excuse me? <laughs> this has been my life and soul for the last, you know, all this sweating that I've been doing. The only thing that's been keeping me going is knowing that, you know, I'm gonna deliver and it's gonna be a whole happy day. And you can it? Very aggressive. Guys, this is something that many people cannot avoid. But honestly, as a PM, when your baby gets canned after the stress and the headache, it's, 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 it's deep to the soul. Pray it doesn't happen to you. Number nine, oh my gosh, once again, enemies of progress. Highlighting problems with no solution. Usually on a project, my problems are many. I understand there's a lot of issues, fine, that's great. But I keep saying this issue, this issue, this issue, this issue. More. <laughs> I know, I, it's, it's on the issue log. We got the mitigations. We're working through what we can do to minimize the impact. You got what I mean? So like, you keep highlighting this without giving me a solution. It's very, very redundant. It's not helping. It's just adding more stress. Go away. <laughs> I don't want to be around you. You're bad vibes. And then last but not least, guys, and I, I say this all the time, even when it's not your fault, even when you didn't break it, even though you're not the reason why it's running late, guess whose fault it is? It's yours. Always remember that as a PM, it's always your fault. It is one of the most irritating things about the role. You have to go back and explain why this, this, this has happened. And deep down inside, you don't even really understand yourself why it's happened because I don't understand, Margaret, where we went wrong here, but I'm gonna have to describe it. I'm going to have to explain it and it's all kind of raining down on my head. Thanks Marge. Not very nice, but it is what it is. <sighs> actually, after getting that off my chest, I actually feel a lot better. So guys, those are my top 10 pet peeves in project management. <sighs> like I said, not all that glitters is gold. It's a cold world. It's an irritating world, but deep down inside, I'm saying all of this, you already know that I love project management. So maybe, I'll come back with a top 10 things that I love about project management. If you love this video, please give me a big thumbs up and do drop in the comment section your pet peeves. If you work in project management or, you know, just getting into it, what are those things that you're starting to be like, hey, 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 why are you, why are you doing that? 
drop it down below. Also, if any of these are your pet peeves, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. I'm gonna shake off all this negativity and go and have a great week ahead. So have a great week, guys, and I'll see you in my next one.